Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for coming to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and make sure that you get an amazing life on every single day. Hello, my amazing Pisces. Hello, my beautiful cross watchers. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for hanging out with me, giving me your time, your energy. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and please leave a comment in the comment section if any of the videos resonate with you, okay? So what I am doing right now, this is called a 10 card spread or either a... Um, this is called a 10 card spread or either a Celtic cross spread. So I'm pulling these cards because we are going to, um, and I'll talk you through what I, what they, what the placement of them mean. Okay. All right. So this very first card here that I pulled, this very first card represents your um present position like the the circumstances that are currently going on in your life um and things that influences that are at work right now that's you know so um i'll be pulling the first six cards which is one two three four five six and i'll be pulling them in that order okay and so the very first card out is a tower card and so it's in reverse i get the energy pisces from this you are you have already overcome something you've over <clears throat> you've overcome a situation or either a situation that could have been really bad did not happen something like there was i get divine intervention um i just get that something was you may not even be aware of um, it's like you dodged a bullet or something or um, and so you're in a position right now that you are just sort of like blessed and you may not even be aware that you dodged a bullet in something in your life in a situation in your life or something. Um, Pisces, I get the energy that you could have had um, you could have made a decision off of instinct or intuition and it actually was the best thing for you. And you don't realize how bad things would have been if you would have remained in that position or either in that um, that situation or had if, if you would have kept or allowed someone to remain in your presence, in your life or something. If you didn't remove yourself from a situation, it could have led into a tower moment. I just get that you really dodged a bullet or, you know, you, you kind of don't even realize, realize that you got out of a situation just in time or something. Okay. And then the second card out is the immediate influence. And that is the two of swords. Um, and so something, like I said, like I said, with the tower moment in reverse, it's something that you didn't see. I get the energy somebody was trying to sort of manipulate you, um, wanted you to put them first, uh, kept some things from you, hoping to keep you sort of in a situation so they can cause a tower moment in your life. But like I said, for some reason, you 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 followed your instincts. You paid attention to your you listened to your intuition and said, "Okay, you know what? I got to get out of this, or I need to end this, or something isn't right about the situation, or this isn't healthy for me." So you removed yourself. Someone was deliberately hiding something from you and keeping information away from you because they wanted you to put them first. They didn't want you to have the tools needed to make the right choice or something like that. So I. I could just get like a manipulation game like head games mind games things like that um this could have been somebody who loved bomb you or like they they gave you a lot of compliments or things like that or like i said they just withheld information because they did not want you to make the best choice for you they could have been benefiting from this or their long-term intention was to benefit from this and cause a tower moment in your life but something about your instinct something about your intuition you got 
out of that situation in just in the nick of time. That's the energy that I'm getting from this. Okay, and then this third card here represents your goals or your destinies. Um, something that you can be you can expect, you know, like given your current affairs and your life, and that's the ace of pentacles, Pisces. What amazing, amazing. I guess something because you dodged this bullet, because you sort of got out of a situation in the nick of time, or you cut someone out of your energy or out of your life just in the nick of time, who was plotting, who was plotting and, and they wanted to cause a tower moment by keeping some sort of lie from you, by keeping something hidden from you, by making sure that you didn't see all of the factors, like all the facts so you could make a sound decision. Um, something about that is bringing in this this huge offer like you're having some sort of like windfall or a blessing um new growth um things new you know just a new situation something new becoming some coming in your life it's like i said it's something about you being in a situation where you didn't even realize that by you listening to what was best for you or or like i said going off of your instincts or something you actually prevented a tower moment and that is bringing about this ace of pentacles like this beautiful blessing that's coming in for you pisces and then we actually have um then we actually have the will of fortune but it's in reverse pisces and so with this will of fortune in reverse um, things, some, again, something did not move forward. And I get that you are not sort of expecting some sort of blessing to come in. You could feel like you're stuck or stagnant at this point in your life. You don't quite see things moving forward the way that you really want to see them. Um, and it's, you feel like it, you, you don't understand. I, I feel like you got some sort of like, it's like you got, so you know, if, if, if something happens in your life, right? Perfect. Okay. So if, if a car, if it's raining very heavy and you have puddles of water and a car drives down the street and they splash that puddle of water, you're get you, if you're close enough to the, to the street, you'll get sprayed a little bit, maybe a lot. But the entire puddle of water is not on you. You just may get sprayed or sprinkled enough. Maybe you jump back just in, enough in, in the nick of time. That's kind of how I see the situation. It's like you got out of the situation just in the nick of time to where you did not completely have to deal with it. But I, I see it's something like the energy is still in that place where you're focused on what you didn't know or you you don't realize that you actually um, got out of something. And so you're focused on it and I get that you're stagnant or you're sort of stuck there thinking about it, reminiscing or replaying something in your mind over and over and over again. Like, did you make the right decision? Did you walk away in the, you know, for the right reasons? Did you cut someone away from your, out of your life for the right reasons? Um, was that the person who you should have let go or was that a situation that you should have, you know, distanced yourself from? So I get that you're sort of like questioning yourself because you don't see how important you didn't, you didn't have all the facts. And I still don't get Pisces that you have all the facts. I still feel like it's certain things you don't know. And it's like the universe is, almost rewarding you because you trust your you because you trusted your instincts or because you trusted your intuition but you feel kind of stuck you feel like things aren't moving forward for some reason but actually they are pisces it's just that it's not moving forward in the way that you want to see it you want to see it move in a lot you know like a lot quicker um i get the energy that there are people at play here, there were numerous people at play who tried to create some sort of tower moment. They were hoping to do something um, or see something happen in your life that did not happen. And they could have tried to keep you stuck in this situation as well, like I said, by keeping you um, kind of like closed off or, you know, uninformed or something like that. 
but it's like the universe is rewarding you with this ace of um, pentacles because of that because you trusted yourself and then we have um with the fifth card this is like your recent past events and it indicates events you know in the present past and actions or behavior in the distant past and things like that that influence the current situation um and it's like the nine of swords is in reverse here, Pisces. I just get that you, oh, I just, I know I keep saying it, but the energy from this read is like you really dodged something that you don't even know was about to cause a serious tower moment in your life. This was something that was planned. It would have had you here, but you're not even, it's like, you would have, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, this reading. So I get that you don't even understand the depth of how serious it was. Somebody around you was plotting to cause some sort of destruction in your life, some sort of ending, some sort of harm, some sort of um, just unhealthy situation by keeping you blinded by something, wanting you to put them first. Um, it was beneficial to them. They wanted to keep you stuck. You could still feel stuck. Um, not realizing that the that when you decided to just let this go and cut ties, you actually prevented a moment like this um, from happening, Pisces. You really did. You prevented a tower moment from happening. Um, and then... We have the future influence, and that's the full card, um, but it's in reverse. So I get the energy, um, whatever that future influence was, including, you know, so whoever this was that was planning on, I get this, that somebody was planning on entering your life. This, because the full card represents the Aries card. It also represents, I mean, that Aries energy. It also represents new beginnings with something. And so... With tower moments upright, it's like something had to end for something new to begin. You could feel like you're stuck or stagnant, like things aren't moving forward and you wanted a new beginning. Be with You thought that whatever the situation you were in was going to be prosperous and, and loving and kind or either help get you to the next level if it was career related. This was a plan to really, this, this was like sabotage Pisces, like whoever this group of people were or whoever this person was, was really planning on sabotaging some things in your life. Um, and you could feel like, oh, you know, I just get that you don't see the full picture of what you got yourself out of and you got out of there just in the nick of time. I don't get that you see it though, because you're still feeling stuck. You're still in that energy. You don't realize you would have been here if you would have stayed in that in that, in that type of situation. Um, and this and something someone was planning on coming in and interfering or someone from your future, but it's like you changed courses or something. You changed courses, and so now they have to replan something they have they something that they were planning just did not work for them um they were like i said they were going to try to call some sort of tower moment in your life um with this fool card it could have been something where you know they told they could have been trying to tell you like just take a leap of faith or something like that um, I just get the energy, Pisces, because you don't quite understand what you have already overcome. You don't get how important it was for you to leave something and cut something off and let it go. That you could be crying or worried or feeling sad about what you lost. You don't even realize that was a blessing in disguise, Pisces. It really was. Um, the next card out, I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these because this is about... Um, this card indicates, you know, how you feel right now in your present situation. And it may reveal, you know, some sort of like course of action. Um, 
as well as a role that needs to be played and things like that directing, you know, concerning your future or something, you know, pertaining to your future or something like that. And so with that, we have the King of Cups. So you could definitely have someone coming in now. And like I said, because you got rid of a situation, this could definitely be a relationship, Pisces. This could be a relationship with somebody um, where they were plotting to do something really unhealthy or unkind to you, very hurtful um, to you. And you didn't, it caused something because they wanted to cause a tower moment. So they were like intentionally plotting to do something to cause you, you know, great pain or anguish or something in your life, a lot of worrying, things like that. But the fact that you stepped away from this situation, um, they were doing this, that they were, they were planning on doing this because they were keeping information from you. So they didn't want you to see the truth about like who they were or what they were planning and what their real emotions was, uh, what their real intentions were. And so it's like, because of this situation, Pisces, um, I don't, like I said, I don't get that you quite understand what you really survived or what you got out of. Um, but this person, it's like, because you, you sort of went with your instincts and said, okay, I'm gonna just cut my losses and move on. You could still be kind of sad about it, kind of worried why things didn't move forward and all this kind of stuff, but you don't understand how much you have just overcome something and really, really dodged a bullet. Um, the universe saw it though. Your angel saw this. Your ancestor saw this. God saw this. And you are really being rewarded for listening to your instincts, for paying attention to your instincts. Pisces, I get you got somebody trustworthy. This could be a really good friend. This could be somebody who wants to build a very a very good, trustworthy, solid friendship with you. Um, somebody who has a lot to offer. Somebody who want to, they, they are confident in who they are. They're also emotional. This could be a fire. I mean, I'm sorry, this could be a water sign or an earth sign or something that's deciding to come in and try to have some sort of connection with you, Pisces. And then the card after that is the world card. and But it's in reverse. Um... And the world called, it speaks of like environmental factors, like things like what's going on in your environment, right? This, you know, at this current time or something and or things that have influenced your environment. So you could be in that situation, in a situation, um, Pisces, where you sort of feel like things have not turned out the way that you planned and it affected your environment. Like maybe you're not happy where you are at this current moment because you're still focused on, you're still in this place where, where you're blindfolded. You don't see things clearly right now. Um, so I just get that you feel kind of stuck, like things aren't moving as fast as you want them to, or they're not moving in the direction that you planned. You wanted to see them move or something like that. And so you could really feel like things in your world have been turned upside down. I get that, again, you're not seeing things for what they are. Something, some, Someone in your life was planning on doing something, but it's like divine intervention. Something came in. You're, something warned you your instincts like your 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 intuition was going crazy about this person or this place something warned you and and you decided to leave you decided to let it go due to and but it was like somebody was planning on really sabotaging you and turning your world upside down pisces and then um your inner emotions which represent the chariot card this is your inner emotions, how you're feeling, you know, the fears and troubles and things like that, that you may have, um, you know, been facing and things that you felt like, you know, um, you know, things, hidden desires and things that you want. And I just get the energy Pisces. You just want people to see your true talent. You want people to see the real you, you want, you want people to, um, 
understand how intuitive you really are. And I get the energy Pisces. You even could want to sort of like shine or, you know, get be noticed or like have your natural talents put out for the world to see or something like that. And I just get the energy Pisces that it's like because you have tapped into something. You may even be picking up now that, that you know, I, I know I didn't see what, what was really going on or I didn't see things for what they really were. Something else could have triggered you to kind of give you some insight into what you, you know, what you like got out of or just in a nick of time. Um, Something else could have sort of like, you could have gotten some sort of like insight into, oh, wow, you know, I didn't know this was going to happen or I'm glad that I did get out of there when I did or I'm glad that I did leave this person alone when I did, you know? And it's like, I get Pisces, you're going to be in that energy. If you're not in that energy at this current moment, you're going to be in that energy where something is going to be illuminated. You'll get the you'll get that that confirmation or something from the universe to let you know that this was the right choice. That's where this Ace of Pentacles are com is coming in, like this financial or some sort of major offer or abundance. So if you left a job where it was a lot of drama going on, you left just in time, Pisces, because they were planning on doing something that was very unethical. And I get it. It was numerous people involved in this. Um, they were going to try to cause a serious tower moment in your life. This could have been anything from like, you know, accusing you of stealing something or like public humiliation or, you know, trying to fire you or, you know, it was it, it's something or like make false statements about you on the job or something like that. They were planning on causing some sort of major tower moment. And it's like you get and they were keeping something from you, keeping things hidden from you you if this is a relationship like a with an ex or something like that and this person could have kept showing you signs that they were untrustworthy that they lie that they hide information that they do certain things um that are unethical and that they could have you know you could have even i even get the i even get the feeling pisces that you could have even found like got the the feeling this person wasn't being loyal or they were cheating or something and so they were hiding something from you keeping something hidden from you and they were planning on really breaking your heart like this was somebody who is strategic somebody who who was in secretly infuriated by you, Pisces. I don't know what happened if you said something or if you all got into like some sort of like debate, some sort of argument or something. And you may have said something that really cut deep and I don't get the energy that this person quite let on how hurt they really were by your words or by your actions or something. This could have been something where this person could have felt embarrassed by something that you did or something that you said. And so they were planning, they were plotting on getting back. They were plotting on sabotaging and causing some sort of tower moment. And you could have sensed this. You could have picked up on this person's energy and said, you know what? This is the last time I'm going to tolerate this nonsense from this person. I'm washing my hands of the situation and got out of there. When you did that, you derailed this person's plans without even knowing it. Because this person was going to try to do something 10 times worse to you. And it's like, I get that you're sort of sitting around, you know, woe is me. I can't believe that this is over. I can't believe I had to walk away from this situation, da, 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 da. You know, now things are kind of moving slow and I don't know what else to do. I don't even get you understand how lucky you are, Pisces. I don't get that. I don't get that you really quite get how blessed you are and how smart you were to walk away from this situation or this environment because they were really planning on doing some major dirt to you. Um, so like I said, it, it, I just get that. And they were even planning on bringing in someone new. This could have been someone who you didn't even know. Like they may have shown this person your picture or your face or something. Um, but somebody who you didn't recognize to sort of help them like, 
execute this plan, this sabotage, this 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 tower moment they were going to try to create. Um, so I just get that they were going to try to bring somebody in that you didn't know. But by you leaving, you derailed some sort of plan that they had. And it's like the universe is acknowledging you now for being smart, being wise and listening to your instincts. And they're rewarding you with this Ace of Pentacles as well as with the a King of Cups. It's like when you move these people or this person out of your energy, you you open the door and that, ex, that space is going to be refilled with somebody who's actually trustworthy, somebody who you really can trust. And I get that you're something is going to make you aware that you, like I said, got out of a situation in the nick of time. Um, or like the truth of what this person was planning on doing could come out. Like maybe you may come across an email, a text message, somebody that whoever they were plant, plotting with, sorry, my nose is itching, but somebody who they were plotting with, may slip up and say something. Um, okay. Somebody who they were plotting with may slip up and say something. And that could let you know, like give you the confirmation, like, wow, I'm so glad I trusted my instincts. You know, you could be feeling very powerful once you, all of this is revealed because you could be feeling like, okay, you know what? Had I not trust my instincts, I would have had to be in this situation. Oh, woe is me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my goodness. Like, this is where you would have been, Pisces, had you to not trusted yourself. Um, facing a tower moment, because the, whoever these people were or whoever this person was, was not showing you everything. They weren't telling you everything. They were definitely plotting. Um, so don't feel bad. Like, if things you feel like, oh, you know, I had to leave a job and that kind of slowed things down, or, you know, I wanted to see certain things move forward. I thought I was going to get this promotion and it didn't happen. I'm telling you, Pisces, it was a blessing in disguise that you decided to walk away. If this re if this is with a like a, a relationship, this person could have deliberately tried to go out and like get an STD and pass it on to you, or they could have deliberately like like slept with somebody or like did something really foul, like tried to go into your account or something and take it. Whoever this was, the energy I'm getting is gross. Like it's really yucky energy. They were planning on trying to cause some sort of tower moment in your life and they were going to bring somebody in that you don't even know to sort of help them do this and this is why I said this person like who you were messing with they are I get very very vindictive very revengeful this person had a lot of anger in their heart for towards you that I don't even think you quite got the, you know, you quite understood how angry they really were because they weren't letting, they, they weren't saying it to you, but they were definitely telling someone else or other people who they were plotting on you um, with. They were planning on turning your world upside down, Pisces, in some way. Um, like I said, they could have waited and like gave you a promotion on a job and then tried to fire you after promising you a certain amount of money. You could have changed your whole lifestyle be or based off of some sort of new pay you thought you were going to be getting. And once you did that and then boom, they, you know, decide to fire you or something. So these people, it's like you dodged a bullet because when you opened up that, like removed them out of that space, it's like it opened the door for more prosperity to come in and more love and more meaningful connections and relationships. And and then the final card is the four of swords pisces and it's upright so that lets that puts me in that mental relaxation like taking time out to sort of reflect on what you have already endured already been through um that is your actual like the final results of this i just get that once you find out something is going to be revealed you're literally going to find out what these people were planning either this was job related or relationship related or what this person was planning you're going to find out it's going to slip up come out in some way and you're going to be feeling very very lucky you're going to feel like um the the universe favors you because they it's like you know your angels have been guiding you and protecting you things like that your ancestors have been guiding you you're going to feel very very happy and strong and powerful that you're going to be like oh my goodness 
I listen to my instincts and look at what I avoided, you know? And so I get that you're going to take that time to sit back and reflect on all of this when it's all said and done. You're going to take that time to sort of reflect and be like, you know what? I'm going to trust myself a little more from now on because I really did, you know, get out of a, out of somewhere um, just in time. Or I, I just, I left this person alone just in time. Like, look what they were planning on doing, you know? And so um, I just get the energy, Pisces, that you're going to be taking that time to sort of reflect and take everything in and learn how to trust your, yourself a lot more. That when that little voice comes in your head to say, you know what? It's time to cut the ties. It's time to let this person go. You're going to start listening to yourself a lot sooner. I, it's, I don't even get that you're going to stick around longer, like how maybe you stuck around in situations way longer in the past um, than you should have. But I get you have learned, like this situation is going to be an eye opener for you. Um it's like you have learned to trust your instincts. This is going to be like some sort of like lesson that you've learned like, oh, okay, that's what they were planning. This is what he was planning or this is what she was planning. Glad that I got out of there in time. And because of that, the universe is is rewarding you. Your angels, God, your ancestors are rewarding you with another trustworthy person. Somebody, somebody that you, that may be just a new person that's coming in your life. That's a trustworthy person um, and better relationships. And so you'll get a chance to kind of sit back and reflect on what you've overcome and what you survived. And that's amazing, Pisces. Um, I just don't like what this person, this person's energy of, of whoever these people were or whoever this person is. It just really leaves a bad taste in my mouth about how they move. Um, yeah, because they were they they were very untrustworthy and they were infuriated with you, Pisces, over something either you said or you did or what they felt like you didn't say or you did not do. I get the energy that this is somebody who felt like you did something that and they wanted to like publicly embarrass you or humiliate you or or like get back at you in some sort of way where they, you know, by causing a tower moment. Um, but you're you're you got out of there in time. And so it's like now you have, you know, kind of gotten that that understanding that, OK, this is me because I listened to my instincts. This is what I avoided. And you're you're going to take that time to just reflect on the whole situation. And, you know, no longer do you feel stuck because you understand that the blessings that came, you know, the blessings that came in from you moving on. So you no longer feel stuck um, in this. You're just going to take that time to relax. That's the end of the reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how you like this um, Celtic Cross uh, reading. And, and make sure you hit that like, share and subscribe button. Talk to you soon. <laughs>